very, very quiet. I'm hunting Super Wabbit. Oh, oh Mr. Super Wabbit. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Yoo-hoo! Huh? Ah! Four feel in 30 seconds. Exterminate! The playing card, please! I'll take that! On my way, you are coming through! Pesky foul! Oh dear. The Odyssey mail order is to the end of the universe, so it's beyond cheap. 10,000 light years. Which means this crap expired 10,000 years ago! Technically, it doesn't say consumed by it, it's only the sell by date. It might still be okay to eat. Fine, yeah. then why don't you dig in? <laughs> hey, good looking, wants a mayonnaise? My party's all off the hook. I never play them to buy the book. I saw that bug that whoopsie daisy. Everybody just gets crazy. Bored as snacks made by your mom. How about a giant party bomb? Huge bananas filled with cake with diamond to my food punch lane. Geronimo! My name is Lola Bunny. Lola? <laughs> yes. Hello. And my name is Bugs. <laughs> <clears throat> you want to play a little one on one doll? Doll? Uh huh. On the court. Bugs. Sure. Oh, she's hot. You miss Debbie. Ah, <sighs> sometimes, late at night, I remember how she used to turn to me and say, Jesus, Fester, go back to your room. <sighs> My name's Fester. It means to rat. But this is taking forever, Shrek. There ain't no in bad movie or nothing. The kingdom of far. Far away, donkey? That's where we're going. Far, far away. All right, all right, I get it. I'm just so darn bored. How may I be of service to you? The guards just took a boy from the market on your orders. Your father has charged you with keeping peace in Agrabah. The boy was a criminal. And what was his crime? I can't breathe, Jafar. Why, kidnapping the princess, of course. Jafar, you know you know, if I didn't know better, I'd say you were reciting some sort of important plot point. Well, I hope so. Otherwise, I'd just bore the audience half to death. You mean half the audience is still alive? Oh! oh, 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 oh. It's nice doing business with you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come on. Mm. <laughs> I'll love to answer you. You opened it. Wait. Let me go! My son. What happens when I find him? I thought you wanted to forget! And before I do, I need to know. Does he forget me? Yes. Yes, but what? What aren't you telling me? Tell me or you'll never leave. You guys! I made my sacrifice for them. Of course I miss them, you beast! Yes, yes, of course, but the crying must stop. Night after night. It's making it very difficult for me to spin. You know, I do my best thinking then. Seems I possess a magic that gives me quite an appointed role in Equestria. Maybe they should make me an Alicorn Princess. Mwah! Mwah! In your dreams. Oh, I never dream of such things. Ask Princess Luna. The force surrounds us. It penetrates us. It binds the galaxy. Yeah, I've seen the bumper sticker. All right, someone's getting a lightsabering now. Oh, it's a just a flashlight. Ooh, ooh, look, I'm scared. Uh, whatever. Just look at this gorgeous vintage brooch. It's one of a kind. It looks exactly like the one you're already wearing. Well, yes, they may look the same, but I know it's older, and that's what makes it so much more divine. Hey, Dad, what are these? Oh, wow, those are my old black and white detective movies. Do you mind if we watch them? Not at all, boys. The projector's inside. Great. Come on, Ferb. Oh, I see you like a little doll. Well, let's see. That'll cost you, uh, 50 cents. I'll give you a dollar. Wonder where she is now. Probably singing at retirement homes. No, oh, give me that. <laughs> no, that's not keeping. Yeah. What was that old salamander's name? Oh, yeah. Bones. Billy Bones? 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 Mm -hmm. Tain't ringing any bells. Must have been a different cyborg. There's a slew of cyborgs roaming this port. 
Hey, Hildy. Want to see me pull the frog out of a hat? That old trick? Come on, Hildy. It's fun. All right, Grim. Oh, yeah. Nothing up my sleeve. Frog rock Debra. Yay. Rebirth. But Queen Delightful, we have a big problem. I know. Sir Ypsilar gets very cranky without his pickle. No, not that. A giant is destroying the village. Everyone is fleeing in terror. I suggest we do the same. Destroy the village? No, flee in terror. Oh, I see. Second thought, gonna flip the script. Can I eat your brains? Your name. Seen some yay faces over here. Sorry, dude. I just really want those brains. Give it up, dudes. Your fighting only makes us look more rad. Don't forget who defeated you last time! Right, you defeated me. Well, if you ever change your mind, I'll be here for you, ready to make a deal. Hey, you want to hear my impression of you in about three seconds? Here, wake up with some maple juice. It has plastic dinosaurs in it! It's a like if coffee and nightmares had a baby. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. A turkey call? You lost your voice doing a... a turkey call? Lost his voice and the title! <laughs> yeah, um, uh, in blackest day or brightest night, uh, watermelon, cantaloupe, yada yada, uh, superstitious and cowardly laugh, with liberty and justice for all. Then again, maybe I should lead us. Hey you, give me back my wand! Pickle juice! Ooh. Baby Dill! Grim, you're a cat! I can house pickle! Ooh, can we get it? Grim, it's just a blizzard with teeth on wings! Ooh. We need a fire-breathing dragon! He's got heartburn! Come on Grim, we're out of here! And get those things off of you. But they're my friends. I call this one Bitey, that's Ouchie, and here's Chompy. And now, I feel fainty. Ugh. Did you bring the cucumber sandwiches? I did. I imagine they'll be your last decent meal for quite some time. Hey, what are you doing? Ta-da! You gathered up all of them? And her little dragon, too. She's hiding something. When I give the word, we search the house. Okay, but I still have 94 monkeys to go. So, while we're waiting for Paka... Pacha. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Perhaps we can have a tour of your lovely home. Now I see how you came up with the pathetically ironic name of your store. I can also see how you became the nasty, selfish, cruel, cold-hearted, pathetically narcissistic, dirty band duck that you are today. Thanks. I think. That that excuse you for ruining Christmas for Porky's little daughter and all of your employees. What the hell am I doing in here?